So I'm finna sweat for you guys. And the bitch is sounding so nasty. But um I broke another nail. Well actually I broke the same nail. Didn't even know it. Um my air be blowing. And the little um air freshener that I have in my car is something platinum ice is something. It's not as good as yet. But, um. I broke my nail. Whatever. We're not going to the nail shop. Because that's going to be like third time I don't went to the nail shop. Because this set right here. They let somebody else because my nail technician wasn't there. Let somebody else do it. And baby. They are not Lisa. Alright. Anyways. Alright, I need air. Oh guys, it's like um My face is feeling like platinum ice. Like the air freshener. Anyways, yeah, we're going to be either making smothered chicken, but I've been giving you guys a video of me making smothered chicken. No, it was pork chops. It's smothered chicken wings. That sounds so good. Grandma's hearing me. That sounds so good right now. But... Or, no, this just seems like a little, a little bit too much going on if I make red beans and rice and smothered chicken. No, I don't, because then that could be the, hmm. I just need a bit right now. Maybe it's because I haven't eaten in two days, really. I haven't eaten in two days, really. So, I'm just trying to stuff myself at this point. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I'm just trying to stuff my face right now. Like, y'all need to move so this woman can bring me my motherfucking, my freaking food. My bad. I'll see you guys in a minute. 
Pick up from stores and stuff like that. Grandma, something's wrong with you. When you order pick up, oh, 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 not my eggs, not my eggs. Are you supposed to tip the person? I feel like you're supposed to tip them. I could be wrong. I gave up. Even though you know what I'm saying, only took her. 15 seconds to put my groceries in the, oh my god, in the car. I guess, I don't know. So, why is it ugly? I'm gonna show y'all the chicken before I put it in the oven. These are wings. I know y'all gonna be like, Daddy, how much seasoning did you need on there? A lot. Cause, by the end of the video, I'm gonna show y'all the finishing product if it looks good. So yes, I'm so sorry. I'm naked, <laughs> but this is my house, my food, so I can be naked cooking if I want to. Okay, but yes, I'm gonna put it in the oven and then I'm gonna do something else to it before it gets on the plate. I just want to show you guys what it looked like before. So yes, this is going in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes. We're gonna let it cook, cook, boo boo. All right, cool. And this is gonna be baked. Then it's gonna be something else after it's baked. You'll see. I had no idea that I had this on the back of my leg. Whatever. You guys look my socks. Okay. This is not cooked corn. So I decided today. Um, what am I gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna make the chicken, baked chicken, with a little twist, and like, oh, but I thought this was open. Kroger's gonna give me all the money back. Um, I'm not gonna make anything smothered. I'm gonna make baked chicken, cornbread, and red, be ugh, red beans and rice. This is for like chili dogs and stuff like that. Cause I like to eat chili dogs. You know, it's, when you don't feel like cooking, you just want to throw something. My bad for the noise. Sorry. Kayla Malaya's grapes. Because we all have to have a good night. We're going to be eating for the red beans and rice. I don't think I'm going to record the whole entire video. I'm just going to record little bits and pieces and then I'll show you guys the end results. But you're gonna need celery, green bell pepper, a bag. I'm lying, they don't. Chicken breast. Who is this? Oh, they got a new logo because I ain't never seen no logo before. Hot dogs, you don't eat this. What I like to use. For my red beans and rice, there's too much going on. Okay, what I like to use for my red beans and rice is the hot Italian sausage. You guys, so either I like cut it up before I cook it. This lighting is not good. I look bad. I look horrible. Whatever. Here. Let's see if I can put it on top of the cans. I don't care anymore. Anyways, um, I use the hot Italian sausage. Usually I like just, you know, saute them. Saute them. That's what you do with vegetables. I just put them in a skillet, you know what I'm saying? Cook them. Or I'll like start cutting them now like this. So then when they start cooking, I don't have to worry about like, you know, taking it out the pan, letting it cool down, and then trying to cut it up, and then they say, you know, I'm getting burned by oil. So, yeah. 
Speaking of burning, what the heck is on my eye? Don't look at my butt. Stop looking at my butt. I'm trying to find my. I don't know what the heck I'm trying to find. I just know it is somewhere in my kitchen. Oh, there. Is it my dishwasher? Oh my god, water was everywhere. Found it. Saute the onions, the celery, and the bell peppers. We'll be back in a minute. Get a close up of the Italian sausage. Oh, I can't wait. Actually, you can use whatever sausage you want to use. I just like hot Italian sausage. And don't mind the way I cut them up. I know they're the puzzle. I got impatient. All right, so I cut up my green bell peppers, and then I cut up, and then I cooled up. What is this? My celery. I cut up my celery do y'all see the celery it's cut up i cut my celery up i cut the celery up next we're gonna cut up the onions my hand over there looking like an old lady's hand whatever also i'm gonna use this pot to saute the onions the bell peppers and the celery so i'm gonna take the sausage out put it in a different pot not a different pot no you know i can't put it in that pot i'm gonna put it in that I'm gonna put it in this pot over here, the bigger pot. Okay, dang it, tongues. Anyways, I'm gonna put it in that pot. I'm gonna saute the onions, the celery, the bell peppers, and then we're gonna move it to over there. And then, too much is going on in this video. And then after that, that's when we'll start making the red beans and rice. And honestly, you guys, this isn't usually how I cook red beans and rice. This is like a shortcut because I don't have enough time to just cook it throughout the night and during the day because I have work and I have work tomorrow. So yes, this is like the shorter version. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so this is the onions, the bell pepper, and the celery. So I'll take it. I'm gonna carry this over to this pot. Sorry. We'll get the rest of it out. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to add the tomato. Okay, it's well. Let's clear up. We're gonna add the tomato paste, the bay leaves, the hot sauce and all that for the recipe. Yeah. You can't see it right now. I'll take a picture of it. If it'll calm down. This is the sausage, the green bell peppers, the celery, and the onion saute with the sausage. And we're going to add the tomato paste. Tomato paste. I found it on the floor. On the floor, the flour, whatever. So we're gonna add. Is it? Mm -hmm. You don't need tomato paste and like red beans and rice, but I like to add it. This is how I make mine. 
I add the whole entire can. I take all things of drained light red kidney beans and dark red kidney beans because I'm not starting from scratch. Oh, it's dripping. I'm not starting from scratch. This is like the quick, easy way. So I'm going to add about three cans of dark red and one can of light red kidney beans to this. And we're gonna stir it around. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, I can't wait. 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 Okay. Anyways, sorry, I'm doing. Okay, this nail is gonna be punching in the face. I need to get my toes done because it's trying to come off. I'm trying to do work and cook at the same time. So that's why I was at my house. What answer did that want? Hold on. And I'm sorry, but if you don't cook garlic in your food, something is wrong with you. I don't know who you are. You have to put garlic in your food. You just have to. Yo, like, seriously. You have to put garlic in your food. I think garlic adds so much flavor. Besides seafood, it adds so much flavor. I said besides seafood. Well, besides being in seafood, like, it adds so much flavor to everything. I'm gonna add that I broke it down again, but you add Creole or Cajun. Whatever you want, I add Tony's or Tony's or whoever you want to call it, Creole seasoning to everything I eat because it's just amazing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you don't need to see my seasoning cabinet, but yes, I add this to everything. Ow. I add this to everything. Um. I need to actually restock because, baby, we ran out. You did not have to hit the microwave like that. Okay. Yep. Close the top. Make sure we close the top. We did not close the top. All right. Got that. And then, where's my hot sauce, hot sauce, hot sauce? We're gonna go find my hot sauce because I don't know where it's at. Okay. Will this add like just a little bit? So I'm gonna add red hot in Louisiana. Just to add like a little spice to it. And trust me, you're gonna taste it, but. Actually, no, I think I really need to add red hot because I have somewhere in the middle of the hot buffalo. We have. Mm -mm. Ooh, we do have Texas hot sauce. Not my favorite, but you guys. I can carry this on a plane. So I can take my, I got hot sauce in my bag. We're gonna add this too, just for fun. I don't think we need to add the red hot. I'm gonna do it all. 
the red hot out. Where's my chicken stock? Okay. Now I'm moving. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So, we have the chicken stock, non-GMO, no whatever, 100% natural. You can, is this wasting? Oh, okay. You're gonna do three cups of it. Mm. Three cups. supposed to do that. It's not supposed to do that, bro. Okay. Have to wash our hands in a minute. It's more like chicken. Two. It's onions. Okay, okay, it's right. Like... And three. So we're gonna boil that on high. Mmm. This should be fine. And then after that, I don't feel like making some home, but. Some home bread. I said some home bread. Some home bread. Corn bread. So I'm just going to use this in. And then I don't see the end result. Some of that point blank period. Boom. It's pretty good time. I gotta work tomorrow. And I have the energy for work tomorrow. So we going to sleep tonight. We feeling good. It's 6 o'clock. Yes, we need to go to sleep. I see you in the next clip. Now I stick canola oil and put it back in the oven I was gonna put it in the air fryer but I like the way it turned out like this so maybe we might be on the move for baked chicken I don't know so yes and then here's the red beans and rice cooking over here they're not done yet, but yeah. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, yeah. I know a lot of y'all be like, girl, that don't look good, but this is honey cornbread. This is the baked in fried chicken wings. And then my red beans and rice. Oh, no. My bad, not the rice part, but the red beans, cause we're gonna hold back on the rice today. But yes, so this is my plate for today. They keep FaceTiming me while I'm trying to record this outro. You guys, don't forget to subscribe. Cause I this is like my fourth time recording this don't forget to like subscribe and comment and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to check on your loved ones make sure <laughs> my mind isn't even here because the person just kept calling me on facetime like i didn't keep ignoring them but anyways don't forget to like subscribe and comment i will see you guys tomorrow i'm gonna try to eat because i feel like this person gonna make me mad but it is what it is so Good night, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, yeah. Seriously, be safe. Because I feel like 2020 isn't over or the beginning of 2021. It's finna get serious. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.